What's up everybody, it's the one, the only, the Phenome, and welcome to part 9 of my StarCraft Remastered campaign playthrough video series. Now, let's go into the campaign screen and, well, without it I can tell you that uh, we have finished the Terran campaign uh, in the previous video. We did the mission called... Yep, the ham uh, yeah, the Hammer Falls. So. After the events of New Gettysburg, Rainer was fed up with uh, Meng's bullshit. Not to go 18 plus here, but basically he was fed up with uh, Meng's double crossing ways and his insidious ways, let's put it that way. I mean, first with the Simeters and then leaving Kerrigan at New, Get New Gettysburg. Um, and uh, yeah, Rainer and our sort of the character that we play as, uh, which is the Magistrate, we. Uh, Decided that we've had enough, we're just gonna leave. Uh, but we had to break through the, la the lines of the Alpha Squadron, uh, once again, as well as some other uh, forces of the Sons of Core Hall, and uh, we had to destroy the Ion Cannon, which was a weapon that was uh, brought up by General Duke. And uh, yeah, I guess that's like those like meant to be a defensive weapon for the Dominion. Not the Dominion, damn. <laughs> Got a bit too ahead of myself. But it was meant to be a defensive weapon for the Sons of Core Hall. Um, we managed to get rid of it, and we managed to escape. After that, we saw a cinematic about the formation of the Dominion, as it was known, as it was called. Obviously, it wasn't called like that, I think, in the video, but uh, obviously I've done StarCraft 2 already, so... Yeah, we know that it's going to be the Dominion. But most of all... Most importantly, we've moved on now. We, we are able to move on to the Zerg campaign. So let's get that bad boy started and see what the Zerg are going to do in this campaign. Alright, Zerg campaign, Overmind. Uh, the swarms have crushed the meager human resistance and laid waste to nine of the thirteen Terran worlds. Shortly after the fall of the Terran capital world of Tarsonis, the main Protoss fleet abandoned the Terran sector. Now, efforts continue on Tarsonis to weed out the remaining Protoss forces. Alright, so, we need to create a spawning pool, a hydralisk then, and we need to protect the chrysalis. So, now, in the Zerg campaign, we will be playing as a cerebrate of the Overmind. Just pretty much like a random general. The hatchery is the heart of any Zerg colony. It spontaneously generates larva, which in turn are used to spawn your various warriors and minions. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. I was like, we have a full group of Zerglings. Overlords provide control for your minions. As your forces grow in number, you must hatch more Overlords to control them. Right. At the moment, we only have uh, one Overlord. Way ahead of you, Dagos. Way ahead of you. So we do have one creep colony. So after that, we can uh, upgrade it into one, into a defensive structure. So either a spore colony or a sunken colony. So that's a thing. Definitely gonna need more drones. There's the Overlord. Good. There's the Chrysalis, by the way. Themselves mutate into these structures. Yet be careful. Never use 
your last drone to make a building. What if I want to build a hatchery with my last drone? Didn't think of that, did you? Get down, hello, guys. Alright, so. In the meanwhile, let's go look for some trouble. Spawning pool. You can make creep colonies to extend the creep. The quality of hatchery can be built upon open ground. Require more minerals. That was quite a large group of marines as well. More marines. Oh, that's a that's a Goliath. Oh crap, those are raids. Run, little Zerglings, run! I'll come back for you later, Terrans. Let's build another colony here. Yep, spawning pool's almost complete. Wow, Zergling with three kills. That's impressive. Alright, spawning pulls up. <laughs> that creepy music playing it as well. the Terran encampment. Wow, that's a lot of stuff for the first mission, to be honest. So, um, hmm. Is there an extra larva I can use? Yes, there is. So let's make a drone out of that. Ooh, more zerglings. Alright, I'm gonna need a bunch of these little bad boys. If I'm gonna finish this mission. Right, let's see. So that's this is basically like a choke point. Nice little choke point there. So Ah. More Vespine gas. So let's get an extractor up. And actually, I will go for another hatchery. Just so I have more larvae to produce from. There's another larva. Ah, I might need an overlord in a moment. So give me another larva, if you please. Overlord, go. Alright, this guy's doing nothing, so you're gonna go get some gas for me as well. Damn, I didn't think about it. I could have put the other hatchery down here, so... I have a shorter uh, route towards the extractor. Or rather, my drones have a shorter route. Let's get another Overlord. Young Chrysalis. 
right. More drones. Come on, hatchery. I don't have all day. Yeah, I thought that I'm going to be playing uh, two missions today, because since I'm starting up a new campaign. But I think that will not be the case. That will definitely not be the case. drones. That'll be the last lot of drones I'll need. So now I can start producing units. Let's get another overlord as well. Hydrogen has been completed. Oi! Stop attacking my hatchery, you bastards. How dare you. much damage done. So you go and get me some more gas. Yep. And you get me an Evo chamber. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna give me more minerals. Because why not? Another overlord is ready. A couple hydras. Let's get a sunken up. I guess since they're attacking, actually attacking me, I might as well get a defensive structure. Ooh, zerglings. range, that's good. Increase range on uh, Hydrolisk attacks, that is. More links. Alright, melee, missile, or carapace. Go, go for melee. Let's do it. More Hydrolisks. These are almost done. There we go, that's better. More hydrolisks. Ah, I need movement speed, muscular augments. Let's just get that upgrade rolling before we move out. So they'll at least eventually get him. There we go. Here comes Zerglings! I think we can start pushing towards the uh, towards their main base.
needs more minerals. <coughs> All right, hydraulic movement speed has been uh, increased. Nice, that's much better. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit more, a few more zerglings, a few more hydras as well. And then we can commence the attack. Metabolic boost. Uh, do I really need it? I don't know. Let's go. Let's do this in typical Zerg fashion by overwhelming the opponents. No tactics needed for a Zerg. Well, if you consider all overwhelming force a tactic. I think I need to destroy all the buildings, so that will include this uh, starport. Let's get up there. Did they repair it? Yeah, they did, I think. Okay. Move, move, move. Yeah, get them. Ooh! I think that's victory. Yes, it is. Omega Squadron. Remnants of the Confederacy. Yep, this is pretty much what Manx wanted to happen. Uh, he wanted the... Uh, Zerg to overwhelm the, what's remaining of the Confederacy. That's why he sent in Kerrigan at New Gettysburg. Yeah, 30 minutes, so yeah, we're, we will we will continue. Aggression. Okay. Crystals to the beacon. I think I remember this mission. Ooh! Mutas, mutas, mutas. Flying dildos. Forget I said that. Yeah, here is the backup that we're gonna be getting. Hunter killers. Basically, uber augmented uh, hydralisks. Very strong. Very powerful. So there is the beak, uh, the chrysalis. We need to pick that up with the drone. Thank you, Dagoth. Appreciate it. So yeah, Dagoth gave us these uh, awesome uh, hunter killers. So now I have nine hydralisks, and basically uh, six of them are on steroids. Right, let's get our drone production up. This is one <coughs> one way that the Zerg do feel uh, quite superior to the Terran and the Protoss, because 
you can like you can generate larva pretty quickly and you can like for example if you lose stuff you can instantly replenish multiple numbers of them of course the downside is that outside of the production time you also need to wait for larva to gen uh, to generate so you have that initial burst uh, of uh, I guess burst amount of uh, workers or units but after that you need to wait a little bit and then a little bit more for the larva to spawn all right so we will be getting attacked in this mission I know that for sure so I think I should get to building some colonies come here little little drone Oh, for crying out loud. Stop being stuck, please. Uh, right. Creep colony. Boom. That's one. Come on. There we go. You drones. Oh! Get him! Get this bastard! <laughs> wasn't quick enough. And I paid the price. Alright, so we have uncovered Protoss buildings. Mutate this into a sunken as well. New drone. Get to it. Yeah, we can see a zealot there. We're gonna need more minerals. Alright, it's gonna take a while again, <coughs> as it is uh, usual for StarCraft games. It's gonna take a little bit to build up. Really don't like the resource positioning here. It's quite. Quite far away. Alright, another drone is ready. Alright, I think I have a decent amount of drones now. So I'll get some more, but one of them is going to build me a hatchery, and hopefully I can build it in a way that it will give me the quickest access to this Vespine geyser. That it won't get. It won't be too close here, and there will be enough space. Like, they give you two hatcheries right away, but they, they're they both in a kind of a weird spot. Alright, now my mineral production should be pretty good. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. There's a hatch. Bring me some more minerals, please, so I can uh, get more drones. Fun. There we go. Get an extractor, and I'll get, uh, I'll have a couple of drones to start mining right away. Get another one. That should be uh, full complement of drones for that geyser. Oh, needs an overlord. Okay. Actually, build another sunken here. So no sneaky Protoss get past it, at least without me noticing. You come here, you come here as well. I'm gonna need a Hydra then anyway, so that's gonna help out. Mutate into sunken. Um, that Hydra almost went down. Feels bad. There we go. Extractor's complete. So you guys get in there. Uh, spires available. Of course. So this hatchery is almost complete. That's good. Get an Evo chamber up. There's another Overlord. Yeah. 
Let's get more overlords just so I'm good with supply. Right, as you can see, perfect timing as uh, the Vespian gas is coming in at optimum speed. Right, I see a, pro uh, a photon cannon as well. That's not something I did want to see though. Alright, so I'm gonna need Zerglings for my front line. That's gonna be something. More overlords. Get over here. Just out of the way. Let's get melee attacks. A couple more drones. For my uh, attack buildings. Meanwhile, let's mutate this into a lair. Actually, not the best idea to mutate the the most frontal uh, hatchery, but um, oh well. Don't want to cancel it now. Right, get that, and you build me a hydro den. Meanwhile, start producing links. And, actually, I wouldn't mind finding another... Uh, wouldn't mind finding an expansion. Require more minerals. Wouldn't find mining an ex... Wouldn't mind finding an expansion. Because, um... Yeah. I'm running out of minerals here. Alright, missile attacks. And uh, I think I'll research Groot's spines as well. The more range, the better, because those dragoons have pretty, uh, pretty solid range. All right, that's one group of zerglings ready to go. So I can start pushing in the frontal uh, fortifications of the Protoss. Lair has been completed, so uh, spire should be available to me now. Some more of those uh, p uh, perky mutalisks. This one hasn't regen to full health yet. Hmm. Takes a while. Doesn't matter though. This upgrade ta goes really quickly. Like, look at these, the overall upgrades. Like, they take a long time. This one is going quite quickly, in StarCraft terms at least. Like, in vanilla StarCraft terms. More links. It's actually quite funny, like the Zerg are... Well, the Zerg seem to be this big threat. But in the Terran campaign, I think we spent most of the time fighting Terran, other Terrans instead of fighting Zerg. Like when you think about the... The entire beginning of the campaign was fighting uh, Terrans. Then we had a brief bit of fighting the Zerg and the Protoss. And then in the final mission we had to fight Terrans again. I mean... This seems a bit silly. Alright. Muscular, uh, muscular augments. A metabolic boost. I suppose they get quicker uh, to their targets quicker. Let's mutate this into a defensive structure as well. And meanwhile, let's get more drones. Build a spire and a couple more um, colonies, I think. More links though, in the meanwhile. Wow, 200 minerals for a spire. That's a lot. Alright, I guess since you have nothing better to do anyway, you go there, but you will go here. You'll be the drone that will transport the chrysalis wherever it will have to go. Well, not wherever, but to that beacon. You're gonna go there. Alright, how damaged is this? Oh! 
Hey, bastards! Oh, this guy's stuck. Lol. Bastards. Looks like I need need to build more sunkens or something. <clears throat> All right. Spire, please. Evolution complete. Oh, I can get level two upgrades already. Sweet. Let's get those Evo chambers working. You know what? Let's get. Uh, let's put some pressure on those Protoss. Let's actually check the objective. Bring the Chrysalis to the beacon, so I don't have to kill all the Protoss forces. But you know what? You can bet your sweet ass that I will do that. Get him! That cost me quite a few zerglings. Hmm. Alright, I've got a large group again. This is a bit confusing with the ramps and all. there, I think. Let's get back over there. Get more Hydras. Upgrades are still rolling through. That's good. Spire. Let's get some uh, Spire upgrades as well. I'll have Mutas defend the base. I think that would be a sensible move. Oh, I can get Scourge as well. Sweet. Of course, the Mute has come with an appalling cost. I mean, I mean, a hundred, hundred uh, gas for one Mute. I, I still think that's like one of the most overrated costs ever. Okay, maybe even in this game, even though you can use you, you can use them to morph into Brood Lords and Guardians. Still think it's like way too much. All right, strike team, getting ready. All right. Get more mutas. And meanwhile, let's keep the lings rolling. More overlords as well. Yeah, I have a couple of spare lings. Right, where do we go from here? I think we can try. Oh, hello. All right, let's go more protests. I don't mind.
Huh, there's one going to my base. and level 2 missile attacks, and... Oh, oh, oh man, I lost the counter killer. Damn it. I was a bit careless there. Paid the price there. Those links have departed. Alright, let's find that chrysalis then. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, okay, there's nothing more. Damn, I'm really sad I lost the hunter killer. <coughs> Those are like supposed to be the elite troops. Right, I think the entrance to the next area is here. I think this uh, photon cannon is evidence for that. Let's get a level two flyer attacks. I think you had to go up on these uh, platforms. <laughs> Any more protests to find here? here. Hmm, no research for Overlord uh, transports, so... Let's keep the Mutalisks on the Chrysalis. Just so it stays safe. I think I've pretty much cleared out everything uh, there is on this map. Maybe not everything, but most of it for sure. Because when I attack that main base, it seems like the Protoss from the entire map went there to, uh, you know, try and save it. Didn't work though, because you can't beat the Zerg. Yep, here it comes. Quite nice and easy for the first uh, couple of missions. Thanks. Thanks for the, I don't know, warning. Alright, 21 minutes. Didn't take too long. Lost a few units, but nothing that I couldn't be handled. Alright. Let's leave that for the next video, the intro to the next mission. 
Um, but yeah, for today, that's gonna be it then. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you leave a like or a comment, that would be much appreciated. And also don't forget that the channel has Twitter and Facebook pages. Check them out. The links to those can be found in the description of this video, as well as a link to my Twitch channel. Uh, which I stream uh, on weekday evenings. And if you're interested in more, there's an approximate schedule and the description on the Twitch page. As well as... And also, yeah, uh, as I will be posting on Twitter, on the aforementioned Twitter page, every time I'll start a new stream. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it then. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.